the green area to your right was once lined with lovely European style houses that brought to mind the fashionable elegance of London's music. No wonder the Esplanade was a popular place for European settlers to see and to be seen. Back in the old colonial days, they would emerge from their houses to stroll along the Esplanade every afternoon. Here they would enjoy the sea breeze, exchange gossip, and perhaps even indulge in a little innocent flirtation. As a nod to our colonial history, Queen Elizabeth Walk was opened within the Esplanade Park in 1953 to honor the coronation of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. If you have the time, this park will take you on a pleasant, meandering walk through the park to other interesting national monuments. Bridge straight ahead of us is Anderson Bridge, named after Sir John Anderson, yet another governor of the Strait Settlements. As a gorgeous contrast to the skyscrapers that now mark the Singapore skyline, just look to the right and you'll see sitting grandly before us three beautifully preserved buildings that commemorate Queen Victoria, the Empress of India. The Victoria Theatre and Victoria Memorial Hall, which features the clock tower, are both historical monuments dedicated to the performance arts. Right next to them is the Empress Place Building, which was constructed in 1907 entirely by convict labor. Previously known as the Government Offices, the Empress Place Building is now also a national monument and home to the Asian Civilizations Museum. Museum is a treasure trove of history and culture that will introduce you to the world of Asian traditions. The museum features over 1,600 treasured artifacts in four themed geographical zones and includes, in other words, the higher the building, the wealthier the owner. Perhaps these traditional beliefs have extended till today. Just take a look at the tall skyscrapers of Singapore's financial district towering over the wealthy shop houses. This is the perfect place for snapping pictures, so enjoy the 360 degree views and drink in Loki's unique blend of traditional Asian values set against a modern and progressive backdrop. See how the shop houses form a charming contrast of Singapore's developing years against the skyline of a new Singapore. This truly is a uniquely Singapore sight. By the way, are you feeling hungry? Hawkers and their pushcarts used to line the riverbanks, selling local dishes that were cheap and delicious. A bowl of Teochew porridge cost only 10 cents. And better yet, side dishes were free of charge. Every day, the people who worked and lived at the river would eat at these pushcarts, sitting on little stools along the riverbanks. Perhaps that was how our fresco dining got its start in Singapore.